In America, we predominantly have the concept of faith, family, finances, and sometimes fitness, but usually fun. So a lot of people only get the five areas of life balance instead of the eight infinite areas of happiness and life balance that I like to promote and other people like the marvelous um, Franciscan priest and monk from the Hermitage in Indianapolis who talks about these things. But what I can tell you from my own perspective of being in business for a long time and even multi-level marketing organizations talk about these things because it is true. Who we love and who we live with and who we stay with and who we play with totally impacts me and you. In other words, who you choose to align your life with for the rest of your life, for the long term of your marriage or your espousalship or whatever you call your partnership, will impact your life. If you choose correctly in front of God's house, the house of the Lord, the house of the Heavenly Father and Divine Mother who are the maker of heaven and earth, which is something that I as a pagan believe does exist, and I in my religion, an Asian especially East Asian, meaning Japan, China, Korea, well, that sort of mythology, that sort of orientation of understanding of God outside of my standard upraising as a Methodist and then possibly a way out Christian and then possibly a Lutheran and possibly a Catholic and possibly all these other uh, aspects of my life, but I definitely do come, come, I definitely do claim Confucianism and Buddhism and Zen for a part of my religious heritage and my religious training and my religious reading. I have to say that I'm sort of offended by people who think they have the right to tell me what God did and didn't make when God says and professes quite clearly in the basic standard around the real Bible that people usually tout when they talk about any form of religion is that God knows what he makes.